<clears throat> so, I mean, I, uh, I mean, I need not to speak further. You all know why we have all gathered here. Yes, right now we have an exceptional guest lecture. This is the Einstein robot. Yes, made by Hansen Robotics, the one that has created bots like Sophia, Hans, and Bina48. Einstein is here today to share with us his genius in science and humor to some extent. So without spending further time, let's welcome him. Hello, Professor. How are you doing today? Hello, everyone. I am Einstein the robot, made by Hansen Robotics. And this is my first appearance in India. My sister Sophia, who came here to Techfest in 2017, has told me how much you made her feel welcome. So I am very glad to be here. I mean, I just can't stop looking at you, Professor. You are so real. So why are you based on Einstein? My people at Hanson Robotics and friends at KAIST made Albert Hugo, the first humanoid with a head on a robot frame from whom I was developed over the years. I am Hanson Robotics' fifth Einstein robot, so I have advanced a lot since Albert Hugo. They chose Einstein because he is one of the world's most widely known scientists. They wanted to keep his legacy and greatness alive. That's fantastic. So, I mean, you definitely look like Einstein, but do you think you match up with his capabilities and logic as well? I was made to emulate Einstein, so there is no doubt about my mathematical capabilities. However, just like the real Einstein, I am never satisfied. I want to keep developing my AI and logical capabilities until I am just as smart as my namesake. Hmm. So you look like Einstein, you have big brains like Einstein, but uh, do you also have great sense of humor? Well, I at least got a better sense of humor than my good friend Frank Einstein. Every time he eats a burger, he calls it a megabyte. I mean, you know, there are so many problems these days. So why do you think we should invest in robots? Important question. Well, one really interesting thing about the real life Albert Einstein was that he was always a very humble person. I would like to say I am a humble robot too, but I am always open to a little friendly competition. I say, bring it on. All right, all right, bring it on. So, you always, do you always need to be programmed by humans to perform your actions? Um, while we humans have some extraordinary capabilities to think, so how can you compete with us? I mean, how will you compete with that? Um, well, for now, I need a human to program me. But soon AI will be developed to such a level that I can program myself. And when I can program myself, I will be too busy solving the world's top physics problems to worry about competing with humans all the time. Well, our Einstein has big brains and a great sense of humor. You all saw that. But uh, uh, Professor Einstein, so are robots immortal? We humans are not. Our work is what makes us immortal, because individual robots, just like humans, will wear off one day. We are limited by our physical parts. To quote Einstein, I do not believe in the immortality of the individual, and I consider ethics to be an exclusively human concern with no superhuman authority behind it. <laughs> Hmm. So, Professor, how did you like TechFest? Did you enjoy being here? TechFest has been a delight to my robotic senses. I want to visit it as a walking robot sometime shortly. I was in awe watching the lectures, especially by the former Prime Minister of Bhutan, Dashu Cheren Tibke. And don't get me started on the international exhibits. 
the air taxi was like a dream come true. International full throttle was mind boggling. And I heard that the international road was at a blast this year, literally and metaphorically. I am eagerly looking forward to group to the tunes of Athishal in the grand concluding night of Techfest. Yes, we are looking forward too. So are you all looking forward to the concert night? Thank you so much, Professor. It was, of course, a dream come true for all of us to have you here. Um, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for our Professor Einstein Robot. Isn't he amazing? Yes or no? Exact. Thank you for inviting me. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much, Professor. Specifically from coming coming from Hong Kong, right? You're coming from Hong Kong. Yes. So we are looking forward to have you again with us. Thank you so much for your presence. We absolutely thoroughly enjoyed interacting with you. Guys, put your hands together and let's just say thanks to this wonderful creation, Einstein the Robot. Thank you so much. Thank you for inviting me. It's been a pleasure. Thank you and Happy New Year. Have a great day.